I'm in love. Who? Cassandra. Your piano teacher, who passed shortly before your disappearance. Does your research happen to be a PI named Devon? One of our friends mentioned Cassandra had a gold bracelet with gold daffodils. Someone in the family knows something. I'm still going to need individual interviews with you and your friends. I choose you, Christopher, yeah. He's not my brother. He's not Will Chris. you listen to yourself? Your father was greedy, and he was too incompetent to manage the expansion properly. Oi! For not time! Get your hands off me! <laughs> I think I killed someone. Do, do you think he'd be okay? He's still breathing. Oh, God. But with this injury, I don't know if he can make it or what his condition be. What, what should I do now? Should I call the police? Oh, oh damn it. Oh, damn it! Shut up! Riz, hey, hey, look at me! Look at me! It's gonna be okay. Okay? Breathe? That's right, yeah. Go home. I'll handle this. No, Chris, you just. Did he freak out? Man, I bet he freaked out. Hey, give him a break. He's not as cold-blooded as you. As us, you mean? Anyway, I did a walk around of the area. There are a few CCTV cameras around, but most of them are dummies or they're not working. So as far as I know, where you're at is a blind spot. High chance no one saw him. So what are you going to do? Remember 2010, Penang? You want to make this look like it was an accident? Some oil on the ground beside his car, a skid mark. It'll look like he slipped. But why? What do you mean, why? We have to clean this up. Our plan to use his startup to siphon money will be over before it's begun. Right. As if you can't just take over once he's behind bars. You know, I think you're starting to like him as a friend. Please, you know as well as I do, in our business, there are no friends. Kenapa you tak tidur semalam? It's nothing. Insomnia. <laughs> Must be excited to get your startup up and running. <laughs> and you did it when everyone else thought you couldn't pull it off. I'm so proud of you. Hi, I can't take a call right now. Please leave a message. Thanks. Morning.
Hey, sorry you were asleep and I didn't want to wake you up, so I just borrowed the keys. You came back. I just went to get breakfast. Shen never stayed long enough for breakfast. I'm not Shen. I'm a good friend. It's been a long time since I had one of those. Well, no matter what happens between us, no matter how this pans out, I'll always be there. breakfast for us every morning. We can just eat cereal. Yeah, Ma, we can just pick something up on the way to work. <laughs> cereal is not filling. And outside food, all oh, the MSG, no good. Thank you. You two, co work over. Ah? I'm old, not blind. <laughs> yes, Ma. Everything's great. That's good. Yeah, Ma, I mean, and I were thinking for your birthday, maybe we can go for it. Ma! Ah! <laughs> you okay? It's my blood pressure. Okay, you, you sit, sit down. Sit down, sit down. We're gonna take you to our doctor, okay? Sit down. I just saw Dr. Ko on Tuesday. Should go to the hospital just to be yeah. safe. No! I don't know, wait three hours at AME. Just to hear them say the same thing. I don't want. Anyway, you made an appointment with the specialist next week, right? I'll get a proper checkup then. Okay, Ma. But you need to go rest now, okay? Me and I will clear up. Come. No need. I can walk. That woman is so stubborn. Now we know where you get that from. I think we should take her to the Botanic Gardens this weekend. The peace and quiet would do her good. Babe, I can't. Remember I told you, Lynn and the girls booked me for the weekend for our bridal shower? Oh, I'm sorry. I must have forgot. Mm-hmm. What about you? What are your friends doing? for a bachelor party? Nothing. It's not going to be a bachelor party. Come on. Someone must be planning something. <laughs> it's okay, man. Trust me, I'm much happier staying at home, watching TV, reading a good book. I'll get Ma some water. You shouldn't be here, Riz. Why didn't you answer my text or calls? I need to know what happened. Calm what did down. you do, Spencer? Go home, baby. Why Laura, isn't it on the hey, news? Hey, Riz, hey! Relax. I've... settled it. What do you mean, settled it? Wait. Did you kill him? Hey, you really need to watch what you say. Look, I, I promise, everything's gonna be okay. You have nothing to worry about. Then just tell me what... Hello. Hi, is this Riza? This is Mindy, uh, Leonard's fiance. How long is this going to take? Xiao Jie, you asked three times already. Why, why? You got stalker, is it? Uh, please just go as fast as you can.
Hey Chelsea, there's someone looking for you. Okay. Shen, let's say we're over. Ready for your interview? You forgot. <laughs> I called you and your friends last week about one-on-one -on -one interviews for the piece I'm writing on Chris, and you said I could drop by today. Shoot. That's today. <laughs> no time like the present, right? Wait, you want us to... to... Throw Lena at bachelor party, yes. We are really not the right guys for this. Well, you're his friends, right? Well, yeah, in secondary school. But we haven't really kept in touch. Yeah, he's always talking about how you guys never turn up for any of the annual get-togethers that he organizes. Listen, Leonard has never really had any close friends. Not since you guys, anyway. His life now is just school, work, and home. I'm sorry to be so blunt, but it'd be really nice if you guys could be there for him for once. You know? You can't expect me to answer that. Come on, you already told me about his childhood fears, his most embarrassing moment, his <laughs> nicknames. What is this one little question? Fine. I did have a crush on him. <laughs> <laughs> See? You're kind of fun, right? Those were good days. It's a pity those days had to end with his unfortunate disappearance. Tell me, before Chris disappeared, did he seem troubled? Troubled? What do you mean? Does the name Cassandra Gunn mean anything to you? I don't know who that is. She was Chris's piano teacher. Try to think. Did he ever mention her? Why would he mention her? Maybe he said something about her? Something he saw? Something you want he me had to remember heard? something from 15 years ago? You remember all ago. those things about Chris from 15 years ago, no? I mean it this time. You listen to me. Nobody dumps me. Shit. After everything stop I've done. Stop it. Just stop it. Stop it. Sammy, everything okay? Who's that? Is that the guy that you're leaving me for? I'm a reporter. Conducting an interview with Sammy. And we've crossed paths before, Mr. Shin. I did a profile on you when I was still working on a lifestyle desk. And your wife too. Very nice lady. Shy. Not the kind that would handle a public scandal very well if you get my drift. We're not done, Sammy! Are you going to write this up? As far as I'm concerned, nothing happened. Thank you. If you really want to thank me, think really think about the questions I asked and let me know if you have any answers. Long Nan Tech Park. You gave it to them. You wanted me to fix this, I did that, and you're still not happy. I made these sacrifices for oh, you, it's and you still complain what you it? want but from I'm me. But I'm the one who has something to lose. Something is wrong with him. He's not Chris. Who? Positive DNA test means he is who he says he He's is. He's not my brother. You stop this nonsense. You carry on like this, and I guarantee you, you're gonna split your family apart. You're gonna lose your friends.
Hello, Mr. Harris. Let's talk. Dad. Reza. Can we talk? Of course. Were you gambling on that game? Oh, makes it more interesting. No risk, no gain, you know. <laughs> to what do I owe this visit? Work not have enough for you to do? I wanted to ask you something. You know, if we still had the family business, we would have put your talent to great use. Actually, how did we lose the business, Dad? How many times have we been through this? Spencer Toll cheated us. Yeah, but how? You never went into any details. He came in and bankrupted us. What more detail did you want? We were an established company. I, I checked, we were profitable. No debts. There was no need to bring Spencer in. You don't understand, Riz. In business, there are risks. Risks. That word again. Yes, risks. Big brands do it all the time. They take on debt to expand and grow the business. But we weren't a big brand. We were doing well, but any growth had to be managed carefully. If not... It doesn't change the fact Spencer Toe forced us into bankruptcy. But if he was just trying to recoup his investment because the risk didn't pay off, it wasn't his fault. Whose side are you on anyway? Spencer Toe or your own father's? Why are you looking into my brother? Miss Yeh, I really like to say that it's really a pleasure to see you again, but uh, how the hell did you find me? Your boy, Roy, at the office. Right. And I need a pop talk and... Uh... I know you have people in Indonesia looking into what Chris was doing before you was found. I want to know why. Hey, hello. This is as far as gourmet dining goes for me. You think I can actually afford to have people investigating in JB, much less Indonesia? Miss here, calm down. Have a seat. You've been obsessed with my brother ever since he came. And that reporter more or less confirmed that you were one of his sources when he asked about Cassandra Khan. Probably you using him to ask the questions that you want. So if not you, then who? No idea. Now how would you know that someone is asking around in Indonesia? Unless you yourself got someone to check up on your brother? Why are you checking up on your brother? That's ridiculous. You are. I'm not. That means you know something that I don't. I can't believe you froze all my bank accounts and credit cards. That's my money. I worked for it. You can't do this. You have no right, Shen. The accounts and cards are in my name. I can do whatever I want. You made me put them under your name. You said you were going to invest my money for me. And I did. I multiplied your money, meaning a big chunk of it is mine. And you're stealing the rest? Stealing? Go ahead. Call the bank. Call the police. See who they side with. You or the guy whose name is actually on the bank documents. Okay, keep whatever you made. Just return what I had originally. Okay, my, my rent's due in the next few days. Then come back. I'll forget this ever happened, and everything can go back to the way it was. Go to hell. Let's cut the crap. Why is Chris Yeh's sister having him investigated? I'm not having him investigated. Now, you know there's more to him than meets the eye, don't you? Oh. 
What does my old piano teacher have to do with this? You tell me, and I'll tell you. Deal? You don't have to make a decision now. Just think about it. Chris, sorry I'm late. I came out as fast as I could. You want to talk to me? What's going on? Chris, what's the matter? Sorry about this, Leonard. Sorry about what? Chris, what's going on? Leonard, welcome to your bachelor party. Welcome to Floral Haven Shopping Mall. Some say it's the largest shopping mall in Singapore. So this is your father's new shopping mall? Well, technically it's his company's, but yeah. Does that mean we get a discount? <laughs> so, what do you guys want to do first? Movie? Arcade? No, we can do it later. First, I want to do some shopping. That's really not your style, bro. It's perfect for Ma. For her birthday. Now, that's really not your style. What is it? Nothing. Just something I got for someone. For the girl that you like? The one that you told me about. What do you get? Show me, eh? Wow, that looks really expensive. You have no idea. I got it specially made to match something that she had and really liked. Now it's just about finding the right time to give it to her. Hey, you into jewellery now? It's a gift for someone he likes. Who? Don't be so busy, buddy. So, you gang or not? Let's pay and then we can go watch a movie. I want to. But it's two X. Leonard, if you really want it, why not just take it? Hey, Ivan, what's up? How are you, man? Hey, good. Hey, I don't want a bachelor party. But Mindy wants you to have one. Can we do something quieter? Hey, Pam, looking good. What's wrong? My stupid boyfriend just spilled on me. Again. Oh. Why don't you, uh, join us? Chris... Oh, relax. I'm buying, okay? See how? See how? <laughs> Chris, that's a lot of money. Oh, well, what can I say? I am, uh, generous like that. All right, now we'll just please stop worrying and let us enjoy ourselves. Do you mean just take it? That's stealing. You said it yourself. That wallet is perfect for your ma. Now imagine how happy she'll be if she sees that you got it for her. But what if she finds out that If you're scared to take it, I'll take something as well. And what makes you think we won't get caught? Who's going to catch us? No one's paying any attention to us. Riz, what do you think? I think sometimes you just have to reach out and take what you need, what you deserve, especially if you can't afford it, like some people can. Because life is short like that and very unfair. What are you doing? Drink up! Come on, cheers, 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 cheers! Cheers, 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 cheers! <clears throat> Guys, the least you could do is make an effort. Look, Chris, I really appreciate this. But I gotta go, man. I have to wake up early tomorrow morning. Oh, tomorrow Saturday, no work. No, but I have to go to the market and make some repairs at home. 
And the reporter is coming tomorrow morning for the interview. Leonard, Leonard, Leonard. For just one night, can you just have fun? Go, go, have fun. Go, 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 go. Is this Bob Spencer too? There's been nothing on the news, Chris. I have no idea what's going on, what the authorities know. And if you keep this up, people will start to suspect. So just be normal for now and just enjoy, have fun. Chris, I can't just have fun. All right, let's take this party up a notch. Nice flowers. I'm sure Brenda would love them. What the hell are you doing here? How did you know I was here? Your secretary? Apparently you haven't updated her on her status. I didn't update her because I want to give you another chance. To give us another chance. Or is that why you're here? I'm here for my money. Return it to me, or I march in there and tell your wife about us. That's Brenda, right? The lady in the red dress. I don't want to, but I will. Go ahead. In fact, I'll do the introduction myself. What? Give her some credit, Sammy. She knows. She has always known. Join us for dinner if you like. Three is a crowd, but we'll make room for you. <laughs> That's better! Yeah. Hey, where's Riza? Hey! Hey, Pam! So this is where it's at. Hey, Chris, it's late. I think I'm gonna call it a night. Hey, Pam! This is my man, Leonard. He's getting married in a few weeks, and this is his bachelor party. Congrats! Thanks, uh, but I'm gonna go. Hey, Leonard, don't be rude. Pam just got here. Right, so why don't the two of you chill and have fun? I'm gonna check on Riz, okay? All right, good. Is this taken? Go ahead. Bottoms up. Are you serious? <laughs> oh, jump with me. What's your name? Jasmine. Shit! No! Hey. No! Are you okay? No! Hey, hey! Hey, here, here. Uh, here, let me help. No, no, I'm, I'm okay. Yo, I mean, Chris! I'm okay. Help! I, 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 I should go. Are you okay? I should go, yeah. I should go. <laughs> I, I need to go back to... Thanks. I, yeah, I, I think I need to get back to... Yeah. Freddy? What the hell are you doing with my girlfriend? Shit. You got a wallet? Yeah. Relax. Just say call me and walk out.
We heard Mr. Chu made a decision. Is it true? They took his prefect tie. I thought your father fixed things. And they just got warnings? Yeah. But the store manager informed the school. And Mr. Chu said that it was a bad example to keep Leonard on as a prefect. I'm sorry about your tie, Leonard. It's not about a stupid tie, Jess. It's about Ma. When she found out what happened, I've never seen her so disappointed in me before. Uh, we'll uh, leave you to the talk. Fun. No, Chris, that was not fun. I told you I didn't want any of this. I am a teacher. I have a mother to take care of. I have a fiance to think about. I'm not like you. I have responsibilities. Because you got a chance to build a life for yourself. I never got that chance, Leonard. Ever since I came back, I look at you and I see the life I could have had. And then everything I can to try and forget that. Chris, I'm sorry. I, I didn't realise. No, I'm sorry. I, it's supposed to be your night and I made you do this when you said you just wanted a quiet night. <sighs> Come on, let's go. Chris, speaking of responsibilities, how would you like to be my best man? Of course, we're gonna need to get you some nicer clothes, huh? <laughs> this amount? Are you sure this is enough? More than enough. I just need something to tide me over. Okay. And don't worry about paying it back. No, Jess, I have to pay you back. I have really? to. Really? It's not a big deal. It's a big deal for me. I've been living off others for too long. I need to stand on my own two feet. And yes, I know it's hypocritical for me to say that while taking your money. I'm not judging you. Really. I know. It'll be okay, Sammy. And we're all here for you. I just feel like my life has gone haywire for the last 15 years, but it's finally starting to feel like it could change. I've got my best friends back in my life, a guy who doesn't use me like Shen, someone who really cares about me. I'm happy for you, Sammy. I hope I get to meet him someday. Actually, you have? It's Chris. <laughs> I can't believe it. After all this time, after my little crush on him when we were kids, we're finally together now. And I don't want to jinx it, but I have a good feeling about this. Maybe, I don't know, someday we'll be sisters.
Where am I? Someone knocked me out. No, Riz. Someone stopped you from doing something stupid. Get up. <clears throat> Got a friend to follow you, just in case. She said you were about to go to the police. I heard him, Chris. He was right. He had nothing to do with what happened to my family. I deserve to be punished. Do you think Nora and Ariana deserve to be punished too? You feel guilty for what you've done. You are angry at being misled. But what's going to happen when you end up in prison? Are you going to let Nora raise Anna by herself? Are you okay with Anna visiting you in prison? Your life will crumble just like that. You have a wife and a child who rely on you. You have responsibilities. Are you going to just walk away and ignore these responsibilities, Riza? But they'll catch me. It's only a matter of time. The morning edition. I got it on my way over. The police found him. It just took longer to make it into the papers. The doctors don't think he'll ever wake up. And the police are likely to declare this an accident based on the evidence they found on the scene. You're in the clear, man. You're safe. for as long as I could, but you really need to get up right now. <clears throat> I take it that a hangover uh, means that you had a good bachelor party. Uh, um, yeah, we had a quiet night. <laughs> <laughs> it, it was good, thank you. No, no, it's okay. I'll get it, I'll get it. Ready for your interview? Don't worry, I brought coffee. Wait, so Chris took the blame for his sister throwing the poop bomb? <laughs> yeah, Chris can be protective that way. <laughs> Does that get him into trouble? Mm. Relax, I'm just trying to get a sense of who he was before he disappeared. Well, Chris can be impulsive, um, you know, always acting on his feelings, but that's not a bad thing. Yeah, once um, he had this secret crush, a huge one, and he saved up for months to buy her this expensive gift. Yeah, he was so proud and happy when he showed it to me. Yeah, what did he get? A gold bracelet um, with a unique floral, floral design. design. Yeah, how did you know that? One of your friends mentioned it. Yeah, and I remember it so well only because of this silly incident that led to him and me having this huge fight. I have nothing to say to you, Leonard. I'm really sorry. I know you're really angry at me, but... I know I messed up. No, I messed up by listening to you for having you as a friend in the first place. Listen, I never ever want to see you again. Leonard, just listen. Back away! Yeah, it was a bad fight. But you know, kids, you know, no matter how bad things get, eventually you make up. 
You could have joined us for lunch, you know. I didn't think you wanted me there. After what happened. So, uh, how's your shoulder? Had eight stitches. The doctor says to leave a scar. I'm... I'm sorry, Chris. No, I deserved it. I'm sorry, Leonard. Really. So, your scar, can I see? Yep. Wow. Is it very painful? Not really. I touch, huh? Okay. You know, our boys always programmed to think that scars are cool. The scar. Hello, Leonard? Everything okay? Did you remember something? I... It's nothing. Nothing. Are we going to have any more problems with your friend? No. He'll be good. That was a close call. I mean, if he had turned himself in... Relax. It's all going according to plan. We'll be able to wrap this up very soon. Good. Because I don't know how long more you can keep this pretense up, John. Don't worry. Let's just say Chris is a role I've waited my whole life to play. <laughs> 